What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Carex. We're going to do another fun thing today. So today, people, today, well actually a while ago they announced that in the second VGC series that they're going to do, a, the Paradox Pokemon are allowed to be on it. So I'm very, very, very excited. I'm going to showcase today some VGC stuff, kind of theory mining what's going to happen by using Brute Bonnet. Love it. I think he's great. A lot of people are talking crap about him. Um, he's got a great attack stat. He's got a great HP stat. And he's got terrible speed, but, you know, there's always Trick Room. There are great mods of Trick Room, like Giraffe Rig or Rangaroo, that kind of stuff. So, basically, what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to shiny hunt it. Because VGC is not fun unless you have a full team of shinies. Let's all be honest here. And then I have a few games on Showdown that I'm going to showcase of me playing a team that I put together. It's this team. Some of it looks familiar, some of it doesn't. It just kind of depends on, you know, if you've seen my other VGC video where I showcase Sea Titan and I do have Sea Titan on that team. This new team as well. I love Sea Titan. I think he's a great mod. I think a lot of people sleep on it. And especially since we're doing Trick Room, Sheer Force, Life Orb, Sea Titan is a, a monster. And also, we have a lot of um, Hydreigon, Annihilate, Murkrow. Um, and then a few others that are four times weak to, to fairy, um, Roaring Moon, that kind of stuff. So, anyways, we're going to go on into the game. I'm going to explain to you probably the best place to shiny hunt this, the best way to shiny hunt it. We're going to shiny hunt it because, you know, a purple brute on it is better than a red brute on it. I already have a few of these, but, I mean, if you want to shoot me your friend code and you want one, just... Let me know. I have a, I have a few more of these. I don't need all of them. I'm also after we catch it, I'm gonna explain how I would run it in VGC. Feel free to listen to me. Feel free to ignore me. Don't really care. What do whatever you want. Brute bond is gonna be fun in VGC. So here we go. All right, guys. Welcome back. And today. You already know what we're doing because you saw it in our little intro. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna we're gonna make a sandwich, as always. Oh, look at all look at all my shinies, and then uh, I, I forgot I got that Larvesta. That's cool. And then we're gonna go shiny hunt. So we're just gonna do this one, this one, this one, and we go. I. I, I know, wait, do I have more green onions? Uh, okay, we're going to do a different recipe than I normally do. This one's a little bit simpler. But it punishes you more if the stuff falls off. So grab our sweet. And might as well grab our bitter silver thing. I need to get a new tablecloth. Shout out in the comments. Whoever, whatever you want. Whatever the most liked comment in the comment section for whichever tablecloth I should get. I will get, and I will use it for every video. So, if you want to be the one who chooses my tablecloth forevermore, go ahead and comment and ask all your friends to like that comment, and then also, while they're there, have them subscribe to my videos. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're... Yeah, you know, as I've said before, you want to make sure you have like all your ingredients kind of evenly distributed throughout the sandwich because you want equal taste through the whole sandwich. And it looks like the, the green peppers are having an earthquake or something. So drop that. There we go. Perfect. That's a perfect look. And right there in the middle, it's beautiful. It's a wonderful sandwich. And, you know, it is just the most... I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and eat our sandwich with our mons. I think I made the right one. I did not look it up before I started recording. Um, I, I know it's not water. Water's lettuce. We're doing grass. We want grass. Of course, it's three stars. I'm an all-star sandwich maker. Poison. Green peppers is poison. All right, let's try that again. All right, we are back. Let's go ahead and get this picnic going. 
I did look it up, and I don't know why I thought lettuce was water, but lettuce is actually grass. you think the thing that is actually grass would be grass type. That makes sense, doesn't it, y'all? Anywho, let's go ahead and... How much lettuce do I have? I only have two, so we're going to have to do the complicated one. That's perfectly fine. I don't mind. Get some meat in there, man, with the hamburger. Got our lettuce, and we're going to do sweet and bitter... Silver pick as always. I need to go buy some better picks. And again, tablecloth. Let's get a new tablecloth. And I need everyone to vote on which tablecloth they want me to get. All right. So tomate. 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 Uh, pepper verde. I don't know how to say pepper in Spanish. Or onion while I'm thinking about it. Or hamburger. I'm just a failure of a Spanish speaker. Lettuce sleeps on here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Piece of garbage. Not as beautiful as the first one. That's okay. Hopefully, I get all my buffs. If I don't get my buffs, we're going to do this a third time. I'm just going to have to go buy a piece of lettuce. So I can do the simpler method. And it'll just be a vegetarian sandwich. And that's okay, too. Vegetarian sandwiches are good. There's one that I have that, that I make. You get, like, your... Uh, okay, it's fine. You get, like, a wheat bread. Like, a softer wheat bread. And you get... You put mayonnaise. This is vegetarian, not vegan. Um, you get yourself some mayonnaise, some cucumbers, tomatoes, spinach, uh, some tri pep some roasted tri peppers, and some avocado. Throw that on there, and it is so good. Mmm. It's a good sandwich. Anyways, moving on. We are going to come down here, the same place we look for Great Tuscan. So we're going to go ahead and do our shiny hunt. Y'all know the drill by this point. I'm going to run around, and every time I see one, we're going to go ahead and quick cut to it. So here we go. All right, see y'all in a bit as soon as I find one. All righty, you see it right there. We got our first group on it. We've still got 24 minutes left. We're going to go ahead and... Grab this one. I don't have my toad scroll. Do I? Oh, it doesn't matter. It's grass type. Um, let's just uh, throw over people. <sighs> we're going to have one of these. Okay, we're going to try one more people. This is why you need to bring false wipers and things that put stuff to sleep. Oh my god. You're not getting caught in the balls of freaking sucker punch, you stupid garbage mon. Hi, we're all happy here. You mother... Mm. Do you think a disarming voice would kill it? Probably. Not disarming voice. Uh, whatever I have on this. The moon blast. You stu... You're not even that cool. Just get caught, you garbage thing. You hobo amoongus. I hope y'all like it when I rage. Because I'm, I'm like... Annoyed at this point. Just get caught. Thank you, you stupid. God. Waste all my freaking time. Uh, check for a title. See if it's got it. Lame. All right, we're going to continue on, and I'll be back with you if I see another one. If I don't see another one, I'll probably start talking about five minutes left. All right, see you there.
four minutes left. It does not appear as though there's going to be a, another one that pops up for me. So I'm probably going to cut straight into the VGC section of this video, which I'm really excited to do with y'all. Explain how I'm going to run boot, Brute Bonnet. So I'll see y'all over there. And just letting you know we might get interrupted because if I do see a second one, I'm going to cut to that. But most likely going to head on over to the VGC portion of this video. So see you there. All right, so how should you run Brute Bonnet? This is something that I've been kind of thinking about. This is something that I've come up with. Um, it, it, it's my suggestion. Obviously, you don't have to go with it. You don't have to do it. But this is what I would suggest for you all. So if we come on over here to our Pokemon Showdown, we have our Brute Bonnet. I'm giving it the leftovers to give it a little bit more of a survivability. We are pretty bulky, so leftovers will be good. You could give the Life Orb, but obviously this is VGC, and I have my Sea Titan, so... Life Orb was not a viable option. Also, you have your ability in Protosynthesis. The attacks, we have Seed Bomb, Close Combat, Sucker Punch, and Spore. Getting a Spore off is always good. And then you got your priority with Sucker Punch, then Close Combat for damage, and Seed Bomb for stat. And we're going to use the Poison Terra type because it gives you a resistance to your fighting weakness. It gives you a resistance to your bug, your major bug weakness. And it's just... And it gives you another resistance to your fairy weakness. So it, it's just a good defensive terror type in my opinion. Um, I don't see the point in going grass terra or dark terra personally. Especially with Annihilate running everywhere. And just grass just isn't a good typing. I don't think in general. So anywho. Um, and to kind of go over the rest of the team. You have seen... My Torkoal, Murkrow, Sea Titan, and Annihilate. These are all the same from my other video. The only difference that I have, other than the Brute Bond, is I have a Farigaraf instead of a Rangaroo as my Trick Room setter because Armor Tail does prevent Fake Out and other priority moves. It's pretty cool. And I'm giving it the Throat Spray to go off whenever I Hyper Voice. It's perfectly fine. I have a Terra Normal type on it. You could use Terra Psyche. You could use a Defensive Terra. The Terra on this doesn't really matter because you're usually going to Terra either with your Brute Bonnet or your Sea Titan with this specific build. Okay, so now, now I'm going to showcase a few matches that I had on Pokemon Showdown. If you give me a, <laughs> a few matches I had on Pokemon Showdown because it's... I always test stuff out, and I do want to show off to you that this team is pretty decent. Alright guys, this is going to be the first match that I had with this team. Obviously you can see they have a Murkrow, a Hydreigon, the Iron Valiant, for another Ferrigarath, Dreadnought, and Pachirisu. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and hit play, and you're going to see what happens. I lead off with Ferrigarath and Brute Bonnet. They lead off with their Murkrow and Iron Valiant. I switch into my Torkoal because I didn't want to get mollywhopped by the Iron Valiant and the Murkrow. It does have Brave Bird. That surprised me a little bit because I don't run Brave Bird on mine. Alright, we get that nice Trick Room off and guess what we're going to Heat Wave with Torkoal and of course we miss. Hyper Voice, get our Throat Spade proc. Brave Bird, it. they Brave Bird again, that's fine. They get rid of my son, but it doesn't really matter. We still do plenty of damage with Torkoal. Now, an another reason why we're using Torkoal is because uh, Brew Bonnet has that Protosynthesis ability, which is really good. And it raises your attack stat. So he knocks out my Furigarath. I go into the monster, the Sea Titan, and I throw... Torkoal back out into the back into the back because I want to make sure I can get his protosynthesis off later in the game. Go back into Torkoal, get my protosynthesis, and I'm pretty sure I win this turn. If I don't win this turn, I win the next turn. Okay, I'll win the next turn with uh, Sucker Punch because that priority is too good. See, priority with Sucker Punch, too good. All right, and that was the match. So we're going to go ahead and get our second one going. Just give me a second. All right, so we got our second game here. You can see we're playing against... Uh... All right, so here we go. We got our second match. You can see we're playing against a Gudra, a Murkrow, a Goldingo. 
Cyclozar, which is pretty interesting, uh, Gothitelle, and another Hydreigon. I'm telling you, these Hydreigons are everywhere. Fairy Terra on this thing is too good against this Dark Dragon Menace. Anyways, so we're gonna go into this match. Um, I mean, it, before I play the the the, I, well, the, 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 the things I was thinking about throwing out is I'm worried about this Goldingo. I want to make sure I have Torkoal because this thing is a menace to my Sea Titan and pretty much everything on my team. Torkoal's the only thing that can take it. I'm not really worried about Murkrow because I don't see Dodonzo. That's the only reason why Murkrow's there. And I also bring Annihilate because he's pretty strong and I, I, I feel like if I could final gambit something and just take it out, a one for one isn't really that bad. So They lead off with Gothitelle to trap me inside in Cyclozar and I lead off for Furgarath and Torkoal. So they... The Protect on the Gothitelle is not a big deal because I just Eruption. What to do? Had I fired Terra there, it would have knocked it out. I was not able to get my Trick Room off, though, with my Ferrigraph, the Acrobatics, the Dark Boulder. They're, they're really focusing down the Torkoal now because I showed the Eruption. It does a lot of damage, and obviously you do less damage when you have less health um, with Eruption. So they got the Torkoal. Water Terra, which is interesting. I did not expect that. And they knocked me out with the Draco Meter, which is fine because we're gonna bring out our Brute Bonnet. Our Brute Bonnet is Grass Type, which is super effective against Gudra. Gudra also has Sap Zipper, which I forgot. So just go ahead and make sure you remember that. And they bring out the Gold Dingo. So they did, <laughs> me being stupid, um, they did bring the Gold Dingo, but the Gold Dingo is also weak to Dark Type, which Sucker Punch knocked it out. And we get rid of the Gothitelle, and the only thing left is the Gudra, which we're just going to Seed Bomb, and we're going to Wreck. And yeah, that's the two games that I have for you. I hope y'all enjoyed, and um, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Again, Brubon is going to be really great. Um, if you could go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, if you want to see me shiny hunt something else, pretty cool. If you want to see a, a VGC tutorial mixed with a shiny hunt, kind of like what I'm doing right now, awesome, just let me know. Uh, anyways, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time!